Hello everyone. Uh, we are doing a project for Freedom Soup. They are a nonprofit organization who serves the community to provide um, meals and clothing to them. Our project is Freedom Soup Inventory System. Uh, our project leader, Dr. Ozzy. I'm Park Rawat. Rachel Goldberg. Marina Malaguri. Brian Hall. Okay. Um, these are the few things that we will cover in our pre presentation. Um, I'm just going to move on to it. So, Freedom Soup currently does not have a formal inventory process or inventory tracking system which make them difficult to track their inventory for grant purposes and also to figure out their uh, impact on the community. Uh, what our goal is to best track their inventory and also enhance their uh, inventory capabilities and also in addition to provide an uh, inventory tracking system by the end of May 2012. Um, project scope, uh, Rachel will touch more into it. Uh, the main objective is that how to best track their inventory process and also enhance their uh, inventory capabilities. Um, by doing this, uh, the system should increase inventory accuracy by 100%, gas served per meal should increase by 1%, and the number of, uh, number of grants should be increased by 20% by end of December 2012. Now I'm going to pass it down to Rachel, she will talk more about business. Alright, so this is our proposed high flow level diagram for the new system. We added steps 2 and 4 in order for, to increase inventory accuracy. Here is our scope boundary diagram. The inside of the dotted line is our high level diagram and how it, inter it will interact with the system and the external entities and outside in the circles are some of the items that we felt could be extensions to the system but were not in the scope of our project. And then for the IS content of our project, we're going to create a web-based inventory system that's connected to an SQL database. The system will allow Feedem Soup to track their donors, their inventory, their inbound, outbound transactions, and the customers that interact with um, <coughs> their their system and their organization. This is a just a quick screenshot of what our proposed system is going to look like where they have their main menu with the donors, their entries, their inventory, their outbound, their, uh, their dashboard which is going to have some graphs and stats on some of their most frequent inventory items. I'm going to pass it to Marina to finish up with the operations. So our operations part of the project actually includes a process flow of the inventory flow throughout the store, as you can see. A step one, the donation will come in into the store. A step two, the, the, the decision on whether a hold or a check-in process uh, will be made. Currently, they do not have this, the holding process in their, in their process. Uh, but uh, we decided to include this because we feel like it will potentially increase customer service as lines increase throughout the store. In the check-in part, the items will be recorded into the system, and at point four, the uh, items will be stored in their op opposite locations. So as I said, some of the project benefits will include an increase in the customer service. Other benefits will include an increase of grant application, increase of inventory accuracy, and an increase of number of meals served per uh, month. Our project schedule is actually on track. We are planning to deploy the system during, at Feed'em Soup during the month of April. So that's the project plan. So next, Brian will conclude the project. Okay, as stated before, Feed'em Soup currently doesn't have a formal inventory flow process, nor do they have an automated inventory tracking system in place. In terms of operations, our proposed solution entails developing more defined and standard inventory flow processes that are very similar to those currently in place at Feed'em Soup, with the additional usage of the upstairs location for the holding of inbound inventory that can be easily tracked or checked in at a later time. On the technological side, we've decided to develop a web interface, as Rachel touched upon, linked to an SQL database that will allow for more accurate and efficient inventory tracking as well as help develop specific inventory reports based on user preferences. So after analyzing our proposed solution, some of the potential key benefits include, but are not limited to, increased accuracy and efficiency in the inventory tracking processes at Feed'em Soup, um, increased 
grant opportunities and organizational funding for the organization, um, a more accurate and detailed assessment on the overall impact that they're having on the community at the current moment, and then the increased potential for overall, for overall organizational growth in the future. So now I'd like to pass it off to you all for any questions that you all may have of us.